nós tem que... Como ficar rico se nós tem pensão demais? Eu vou lá no sábado me chama de pai. Hello there guys and of course welcome back into yet another one with us the review bros. My name's Aaron. I've got to say it is really good to have us all joined again today. Of course on yet again a pre-workout review and with a recent scare to the channel it just feels really good to be back able to give you these honest reviews to save you money on products that might not work and also give you the opportunity to pick up products that will work to help you get towards your fitness goals and that's all we ask for. Now the pre-workout we've got to review today is a new one to the market. It's called Blackout Surge and it's from the people called Blackjack Nutrition. I've got to say I do like the marketing, a cool design. It's a bit different from the typical pre-workout designs out there. It just stood out to me when I saw it and a big thank you to them for sending this tub on down to us. But you know the drill. We're going to be 100% honest as we go through the usuals, the taste, price, label, and of course, primarily the effects of this one in the real world. Is it going to be something you next pick up as we come into the new year? Well, all we ask in return is please do, of course, give us a thumbs up on the video. Drop any comments you have down below on this or anything else and we'll get back to you. And of course, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps us out. And in turn, of course, we try our very best to help you out. Let's get into this one. What can she do for us? Okay, the first segment we're into is of course, taste and mixability. Arguably the least important, but we're gonna cover it anyway. So it comes in two flavors that I can see on the website. It comes in cherry lemonade, and the one we've got for the sake of today's review is icy blue raspberry. I've got to say, I, oh, it's difficult. I probably would have preferred cherry lemonade. It's a bit more, it, Put it a bit more extravagant, a bit more unique, I would have to assume. As we know, Blue Raz has been around since the, the, the start of time itself when it concerns pre workouts. But let's go into this with an open mind. We're looking at a, a 16.55 gram serving size. I can tell you guys, a flat scoop does indeed get you that amount. It's got that typical blue raspberry smell in the air. But it doesn't, um, it, it hasn't got a colour to the powder. And as we can see right now, straight away, it's not giving us that blue artificial look to it. So anyway, let's see. So really hard to tell mixability on these ones, but I can, I can assure you guys, it's actually really good. I will try and show you, but the chances are slim, slim to none. So let's give it a go. Let's give it a go and see how it actually compares to other blue raspberries on the market. Cheers. It is good. It is really good for a blue raspberry. Now, the only thing I'd have to say about a blue raspberry is it's boring. It's been done before, but I've got to say, this is one of the better blue raspberries out there. There is a unique kick to it. Not sure if that's the icy part of the formula, but I do like it. As a blue raspberry goes, I'd be very happy to give this a solid 9 out of 10 with that improved mixability as well. So it's a good start to the review. Let's move into the price point now. Okay, so we have ourselves a strong pricing segment coming up for you right now. And for a special reason, it is a true... 30 serving container which is rare these days you normally get your 40 20 so therefore that really knocks the price up but when you see these these 30 serving containers generally speaking of course it means a lower price per serving and that is no different for today's review use the code rb10 at the official website to get obviously 10 percent off Therefore, you can pick a tub of this up for £31.50. And, and when you do the math on that, you divide it all up, price per serving is actually just a pound and five pence. It's a strong scoring price segment. 
A five out of 10 is your average price per serving. This one comes in at a very solid eight out of 10. So we are looking at a very affordable serving amount price scale here, if that makes sense. It's a good second segment. We now move into the label. This could be coming on for a really strong review. Let's go. That moves us into the label. What is this pre-workout packing? How do they get it so affordable? Is it gonna be one of those that looks about priced right? Are we getting ourselves a bargain? Are we getting ripped off? Ultimately, the label really kind of the, depicts that story. Now, as I mentioned, a 16.55 gram serving size might be slightly different for the other flavor, but it's there or thereabouts. We'll have the same amount of actives. So we start off at the top with obviously our vitamins, minerals, um, a little bit there for muscular contraction in the form of the sodium and the potassium, obviously vitamins, general bodily function and health. Nothing too exciting for an immediate effect in the gym. So we start off, L-citrulline at a good dose of 4.5 grams. It's the pure citrulline. It's going to give you nitro oxide production, ultimately leading to the pump. We've got beta alanine, again, a good dose at 3.5. It's slightly above what we typically see for the beta tingle, the itchy paraphysia type feeling as the pre-workout ki kicks in. Some people are liking that to like allergic reaction, but in a good way, because it gives that sense of urgency. And of course, it's gonna help us with endurance in the gym. We've got betaine and hydrous up next, a gram, which is low. It normally see in about 2.5 grams, that's the typical amount. However, it is a jack of all trade ingredient. It helps with pumps, hydration, even been shown to help with endurance and cognitive focus benefits. We next move into N-acetyl tyrosine at a gram, uh, an amino acid responsible for cl clarity and cognition and focus and hopefully some mood boosting benefits. Agmatine sulfate up next at 750, again, slightly lower than we would like to see, but more nitro oxide production, working with the L-citrulline to give you the pump, vascularity and vasodilation you deserve. We up next up taurine at 500 again probably about half of what we typically see it's in there for hydration electrolyte balance and a natural energy production we've got caffeine anhydrous not to be sniffed at here a good dose 400 milligrams that's four cups worth of energy it's stronger than your typical energy drink out there and i'd say it's above average for a caffeine content containing pre-workout energy and stimulation of course we've got choline depart de Choline betartrate up next at 200 milligrams, which I'll be honest with you, is a very low dose. We normally see it uh, anywhere a, a gram plus. It is one of the poorer forms of choline, lesser uptake, but might work with the l tyrosine for a little bit more focus and clarity. We have Yahimbine HCL, 1.5 milligrams, not to be confused with alpha Yahimbine, less negatives, but some fat burning and some energy production from that we do hope. And we wrap off, of course, the label with a digestive aid in the form of black pepper, double the normal 10 milligrams for absorption and digestion. Very important, we do believe, in your pre-workouts because you've got that short window before you go and try and crush it. So what would I say about the label? Basic, trying to target all areas, I will say. Not exciting. I wouldn't say it's in innovative. I can never really say that word. However, it could be looking good for that price point. We really could be, bearing in mind that price point, okay? Let's move into the effects of this one. What can she deliver in the real world? <laughs> That, of course, moves us into the effects of this one. It's Blackout Surge by the guys at Blackjack Nutrition. It is new to the market. As I mentioned, a nice design. But we forget that. This could be a plain tub for all we care here at Review, Bio Review Bros. Because we want to talk about the real world effects now. And we start off at the beginning, of course, as we typically do. You ingest the pre-workout and actually a very nice, strong sense of beta alanine 
gets you itching, gets you tingling, gets you ramped up, gets you urgency, gives you that 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 nice start up to any pre-workout we do believe. So if you like that, it comes in strong. I'd give it an eight out of 10 on the beta itch scale. Now what comes in next is a smooth wave of energy. And I would say above average here, we are looking at 400 milligrams of caffeine. So it gives you enough energy to deal with any day. However, it also comes with a sense of well-being, health. It almost feels like a daily driver. And as I mentioned before, in some of our daily driver top 10s, 400 is the absolute most. And that's bearing in mind not taking other caffeine sources through the day. No energy drinks, no, not even coffees. Hell, even fizzy drinks are probably off the market when it concerns that. If this is the only stimulant you're taking through the day, you could get away with it being a daily driver product. And that's what the energy feels like. It feels smooth, it feels consistent, it doesn't give you a high and a low. It's just a smooth wave that will carry you through any day even a leg or a back day, it holds its own. It's not a super strong pre-workout though. It's just on the upper echelon of the daily driver world. Now, focus, focus was good. I couldn't say the words great, amazing, special, memorable. However, it was good. You moved from A to B, getting through your training wasn't I wasn't in another place. It kept me di dialed in and focused on what I needed to do to a good level. Pumps, again, I would say they are between good and great. They're not, they're not hitting great, but they are slightly better than good. That, I would argue the pumps and the energy are fighting a war between themselves as to who takes the, the crown. It's about the same. Now, the truth must be said here. Savage pumps in the gym and the bedroom. Wolf pump. It is a forgettable pre-workout. If you ask me in a year's time what was special about it, there wouldn't be anything special about it. However, however, Blackjack Nutrition, hope you don't hate us for saying that, but we have to be honest. It's, it's, it's a pretty basic standard label with some things dosed reasonably well, some things slightly underdosed. However, again, at that price point, I do think it's worth it. I don't think you're getting yourselves a super bargain, scream about it to all your friends and family job. However, I do think you're getting about the right pricing point. Now, it is consistent, it doesn't come with any negatives. There's nothing on the back of that, uh, your himbine guys, as, as to be expected, no cold sweats, jitters, nausea, appetite suppression. I'd call it, um, I'd just call it a well-rounded pre-workout, suitable for beginners and intermediate users. Advanced users, no. Stim junkies, no. If you've used a lot of pre-workouts before, probably no. But if you're on a budget, yes. And if you're one of those aforementioned people, then again, yes. It has its place in the market. I feel like the only thing that I've got to say again is it is a forgettable formula and pre-workout. But it also did its job. So if that sounds right for you, go on and check it out. It's a well-rounded one at a good price point. It just has to be said. A big thanks to Blackout at Blackjack Nutrition for sending it on down to us. We do appreciate the chance to review it. They might come out with some more bits in the future and obviously we'll try and get our hands on those. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for all the support lately. It means the world to us. And of course, as always, stay stimmed. Cheers for watching.